Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to pull live updated headlines for publicly traded companies into Microsoft Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it right there. So anyway what I've got here is I have the company Google and I've got the last updated trade or I got the last trade updated in one minute intervals pulled into Microsoft Excel. So all of this data, you see the sand timer right there, all of this data is going to automatically update. And it pulls all of that from Yahoo Finance. So all I've done is grouped it so we can just see the last trade. But the next thing I want to do is I want to pull in the Google headlines. So I want to get the most up-to-date news info on Google from Yahoo Finance so I can see what's going on. And if the headline interests me, I will click it so that I can view the article. So I want the links to come in as well. Now, before I begin, it's important to note that the Google headlines is right here and starting in column C and not column A. That's because when we import the data, it's going to um, sort of mess up the formatting of the columns that it comes into. So we don't want to mess up the formatting for all of our last trade data over here. We want it to stay exactly the same. So just make sure you've got some empty columns above and below and to the right of wherever you want to import the Google headlines. Um, now the next thing is, let's go ahead and import some data. I've talked about this before, and if you want to know how to do uh, import all this last trade info, that's in another tutorial for Finance and Excel, so check that out if you need to. Well, let's go import some headlines. I'm going to select the cell where I'd like it to come into, upper left corner. Then go to the Data tab, Get External Data Box, click From Web. The little Excel browser opens up. So let's go ahead and go to finance.yahoo.com. Once here, go to this little box right here, type in the ticker symbol of the company or the company's name, then hit enter. Now sometimes when you do that, you're going to get an error message that only has to do with the fact that this is not a very good browser. It's only an Excel-based browser to make sure that you can pull data in. So anyway, once you're here, Scroll down a little bit and you see all of the stock information just like you would see normally in Yahoo Finance. And go to the left hand menu. You'll see a news and info title. Right under that it says headlines. So we want to click the headlines link right here. Now once you've done that you'll see a page that looks just like this with all of our headlines right here. So we got a link to the article with, with its title, where it's from, the day, and the time. Now what you want to do is click the little black arrow with a yellow box which is right next to that date. You should see all of the headlines highlight. Make sure they're highlighted so that's what we want to pull in. But now instead of clicking import which is what we would do before Let's go up to the Options menu. So in the upper right hand corner of this Excel browser, click the Options button. Then we get the Web Query Options window. Now the reason we're going to do this is because by default the formatting is set to None. That means if we leave it like that and just had clicked Import, all of these links would import as just regular text data, which means we wouldn't be able to click the links to actually read the articles. So what you want to do is click Full HTML Formatting. And that's going to pull in the HTML links to the actual articles. So uh, it's not exactly a good idea to do this for websites that you do not trust, right? Because you don't want to get any malicious stuff importing into Excel. But we trust Yahoo Finance. So if it's a reputable source such as Yahoo Finance, don't worry about clicking Full HTML Formatting. Then we go ahead and click OK. Click Import. Make sure you've selected the desired cell, which we'd like to be the upper left most uh, cell with data in it. And the last thing we want to do is go to the Properties tab. I always like to change how often the data refreshes. So I'm going to check Refresh Every. I want to set it to the smallest interval, which is one minute. So that means our headlines will update every one minute to see if there's any new headlines. If there are, it'll pull it in. I also like to click Refresh Data when opening the file because every time I open up my Excel workbook, I want to get the most up-to-date data for my companies. So then if you want to change any of this data down here, you can. 
it's not really too big of a deal. The only thing I would say is don't uncheck adjust column width. Um, in previous tutorials I've told you to do that. I'm going to say don't do that this time because um, it will automatically wrap the text and it won't come in in a readable fashion. So leave it like that. The other thing I'm going to mention is I have it set to refresh every one minute. Now note that the to refresh the data is going to take system resources. So if you have a slow computer or if you just have a lot of stocks in your worksheet and you're pulling in the last trades as well as the headlines, you're probably going to want to set refresh average to something like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe even 60 minutes. And that way uh, it won't bug you so you can continue to work on your computer. Um, but refreshing every one minute takes up quite a bit of resources. So I'm going to leave it on uh, one minute for now though and go ahead and click OK and click OK and we can see it's importing the data and now the data here let me zoom out a bit is quite large that's really just because of uh, the zoom level I had and um, if you import this data at a regular 100% zoom level all of these links will come in normally so don't worry about that um, but as you can see here we've got a link to every article and I'll leave this text big for now we got a link to every article all you have to do is click it click any of these links and your default web browser is going to open up and you're going to be able to view that article right below it we see the source it came from as well as the time that it was posted so now um, I'm going to show you how to edit the data query and then a couple other things but basically that's how you import this into Excel the rest of the formatting is pretty much up to you so now if you want to edit the query that we have simply select all of the data this is called a query because it's going to query Yahoo Finance to get this information so select all of it right click go to data range properties so that's what I meant. We're not actually going to edit the query, but we're going to change uh, the, the properties for it. And now we can change how we refresh it, enable background refresh, and so on. So once again, if you want to change how often it refreshes, for instance, select the cells um, that are pulled in from Yahoo Finance, right click, data range properties. And here you can change all of the refresh stuff. Now what I'm going to do real quick is to just make this um, not a query anymore, right? So I'm going to make it just simple text so that it will stop refreshing. To do that, uncheck save query definition. That means it's not going to check Yahoo Finance. I'm only doing that for the tutorial. If you do that, your headlines will not update. Now the next thing I'm going to do is change the text size. There we go. So if you import the data at a regular zoom level, not like I was at 200% before, it'll come in looking something like this. Now, what I like to do is I like to make it so that we don't see all this, because what if you have 50 socks, right? You're gonna have thousands of rows, pretty much, or hundreds of rows, and it's gonna be quite cumbersome. So I like to make it like this, right? So you can hide it and view it very easily. What you wanna do to do that is select the rows next to the data you'd like to hide, or select the actual rows themselves, it doesn't really matter. Go to the data tab. In the outline box, click group. This thing's going to open up, select rows or columns, I'm going to group rows, click OK. And now I can click this little minus sign and check it out, it's all hidden. But you can see up here that there's a space between the columns. So it goes 1, 2, 7, because we've grouped that, 8, to 49. Now if I just want to view the most updated Google headlines all I have to do is click the little plus sign and it's right here. And um, it's going to update every one minute to give us the most up-to-date information. Now when it updates you're not going to get one more article like so you're not going to actually fill any more rows. What will happen when it updates is the most the the newest article or post will appear in these two cells. Then this article or post is going to disappear. So you're going to see exactly what you would see if you were viewing the headlines through your regular browser in Yahoo Finance. So that's pretty much how it works. And that's also um, just about it for this tutorial. So that's how you can pull in updating headlines for any publicly traded company from Yahoo Finance into Microsoft Excel.